five more hours to go. So almost 12 hours yesterday, five more hours today, and then we get the man, the myth, the legend. Huh? He's been hauling. Huh? This time. My guy. What up? Welcome back. Hey, you're going to probably have to adjust that seat. I said a little more perpendicular. Oh, me. What up, Big Daddy? How you doing, buddy? You doing all right? Yeah, man. You made it. Are we opening the channel up right now? I mean, we might Just well. right off the daggum reel. It's, it's a travel vlog, all sort right, of. so <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Here we are. I'm back in the truck. Man, that was a long drive. <laughs> Tell me For about you. It. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so welcome back to the channel. Here we are. I just hopped out at uh, Syracuse. I kind of feel like a rock star. Yeah. Just hopping off the jet. You got a road crew now. Like yeah, that. road crew. Uh, if you can, in case you didn't know, me and my wife were in New York City. We were doing some things we'll talk about here in a little bit. And uh, here we are. Now we're heading bass fishing. Actually, I got to get some lunch. I'm freaking starving. Yeah, so. I haven't had lunch either. You ain't ate? No, I ain't pulling a boat through a drive through No. I mean, I will. Well, I know I'll, you will. I'll pull it through there, son. They'll take my order right there at the passenger seat back there, but... We're gonna get lunch and we're gonna catch a small mouth. So y'all join us as the start of the travel vlog in New York. Hey, right, now that I'm back in the car and not being lazy on a jet, here we are. If you pan the camera to your right, you'll see the, the nice, beautiful landscape of New York. Here we are. And everybody wants to associate New York with, oh, it's up there in the big city. There ain't no big cities around here. Not where we're at. Speaking of where we're at, we're going to another Finger Lake, okay? So this tournament is on Cayuga. There are like five or six or ever how many little finger lakes through here. And for a little history lesson, these are glacier lakes. Did you know that? I did not know that. They're glacier lakes. Apparently back in like the year 1493 BC, apparently there was a big glacier right here. I don't really know. It's 400 something foot deep. Somebody comment below with a history lesson because I have no idea what I'm oh, talking Oh, I remember about. that from last year. They're really deep in the They're middle. 400. Yeah, and Seneca's like 500 or something. I don't know. It's super deep. And they have lake trout in them, too. They got trout. You may tell you what I'm most excited to catch? A small jaw. A perch. Them are fun. They are fun. They are fun. They're like just a little perch. They're everywhere. They'll bite anything. They are fun. For so. people like me who can't catch anything, I can catch a perch you can catch a perch but today you're going to catch a smallmouth we're headed to a was is it called a wasco sure i'm calling it a wasco so it's just near auburn little finger lake we're going to go over here as we did last year i feel like this might be a little deja vu we smashed them last year keep in mind this is a little earlier in the year we were here in august yeah we're here in early june let's see how the fishing is different now compared to then Y'all join us. We're going to Owasco to catch a small jaw. I have not caught, no, I'll take that back. I caught a small mouth at Guntersville, which was a quite surprise. Like they got them, but it's not often. Dude, there ain't, I mean, there, there's some in there, but uh, we're going to reel in a small mouth. 100% chance you're going to reel one in, I'm going to reel one in, probably first cast. So this is about to be fun. This is a good little travel vlog for everybody. I love New York. I heart New York. I don't like, never mind, I was about to say, I don't really like how they operate, but I love the fishing. We're back. We filmed the video last year. Deja vu. This is a little different time of year. You have to get into a different mindset this time of year. These fish are up shallow. They're out there reproducing. Doing the nasty. They're bumping uglies. Knocking boots. Yeah. You got any more? <laughs> we can't put that in there. Yeah. They are bumping uglies though. That's what you call that. They Now we can put that in there. These fish are 100% bumping uglies right now. Maybe. Every time, keep this in mind. Every time we think that they're bumping uglies, they ain't. And they ain't coming. I got a feeling they're doing it here. We shall see. Y'all come join us. Come join us.
seen him. Look at him eating it. That's a perch, big old perch. Perch following it, see it? And perches. Molly perches it. Ain't right here, my Smalley. Smalley, Smalley purchase. purchase it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a perch. Oh no, heck no it ain't. Watch this. Boop. It's time. Rocky. Rocky Balboa. Hey, we're already up. We're up, baby. Oh, I'm talking about. We already got dinner. Boy. Dinner. We're about to catch dinner. I drove all the way to New York to eat these. Here's a bunch of grass. I have not seen this yet. So it's good to see something a little new. We tried up there shallow, but I ain't really seeing a lot of activity up there. A lot of rock bass. So it makes me think these fish are small, spawning out a little bit deeper, but I don't, I don't really know. May just not be in a really good zone. You know what I'm saying? Look at that smallmouth. Oh, that's big rock bass. It's really kind of hard to tell because they're the same shape in the water. You know what I mean? Big uh, rock bass, bro. Is that a rock bass? No, that's a smallie. That's a smallie. The first smallie of the trip. The first brownie of the trip. Oh, he's slimy. He's sliming me. First New York brownie. I'll be dang. That's why we come, baby, for the magnums. Boom, baby! Slob. You want a picture with that one? Yeah, that's a slob. <laughs> that's a slob. That's a slob. 450. 451. So she's a 4.8. 4.8, <laughs> four, four and a half. All right, boys and girls. This is why. We come to New York, baby, for these brown ones, son. Look at that stinking large mouse. I got them brownies. I got them brownies. Bye bye. I love small mouth fishing. It's so fun. It's so fun. Good relaxing day. I hate catching this small Joe. Gotcha. But you're at the very top end of the lake where you put in at. You didn't put in like... Yeah, yeah, I'm like... 
Yeah, literally the very top. Okay. Ten four. You caught any bass? Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not caught one. Not seen one. Not yet. What a life. Hurry up and wait, Tom. Hurry up and wait. That's part of the game. They get to hurry up and wait. Our travel vlog's turning into like a fishing vlog. This is strictly a fishing <laughs> vlog, basically. Hey, FYI, look right here. Builder Direct. See these little houses right here? I'm not sure I ain't moving. It's my turn. See the little houses? They're already like pre-built. That's what we stay in in Illinois, and they are phenomenal. So there's a good chance that one day, Victoria, if you're listening, I love you. One day, if you leave me, I'm living in one of them houses right there. You're going to live in a tiny home? You can buy them for like twelve grand, 12000 for a house. Throw you a couch. They got a bathroom in them. Well, you still got to hook up plumbing and electrical, though. It don't matter. 12000 for a house? There's people that pay $1.2 million for houses. I'm paying $12,000. i will dump him out on a lake somewhere, and FYI, he's mobile. You can move him. So if I get tired of one lake, I can go to another lake. You've just described a mobile home. What if I... What That's, if I... It's, just, it's the same thing. I know, but he's cheaper than a mobile home. Them daggum double wides nowadays are like 125 grand. Hang on, double wides straight up ain't mobile. Like I know they get them there, but once they're there, they're pretty much there. Single wides are mobile. Yeah, single wides. You gonna split my house in half to move it? That ain't that ain't All the right, deal. So sorry, tangent. Those houses are phenomenal. But here's what I'm thinking about doing one day. This is just my spirit animal coming out in me, like. If I were a rambling man and I had a decent amount of money to go and put on some places, I would buy a lot on every awesome lake that I want to go to. I'd have a small little lot on St. Lawrence River. I'd have a small little lot on Cayuga. Cayuga, however you want to pronounce it, comment below. Is it Cayuga or Cayuga? Milax. Champagne. Champagne. I have one up there. And I would go and buy them little twelve thousand dollar houses and I'd put one on it. And then you gotta camp on every one of them. Then you can Airbnb out the thing. You pay for the thing just like that and you pay for your lot. Then you got five or six lake houses. Why would, why can't I do that? Don't steal my idea. Comment below. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good idea. Airbnb them out too. They pay for themselves so quick. Why am I not doing that? I know why, because you can't find a lake lot. You literally will spend like $190,000 for a little lake lot. I don't need a lot. I need a, I need a 40 by 40 square, a square to put my little baby home at. Honestly, it ain't even got to be on the lake. It you just, just yeah, be, I, I, I need to be within like four miles of it. Yeah. All right, tangent. So where are we going? Where are we going today? We might even put none of that in the video. I don't know. This is uh, Saturday. Um, we're headed to Seneca Lake now. So we went to Owasco yesterday. And it was okay. I mean, I think right now that these fish, they're kind of on the way. They ain't made, really made it there yet. They were some fish on bed yesterday. Mark caught some. That lake's fairly small. And that's something we're gonna run into this week. People fishing kind of on top of each other because you have to understand, it was different last time we was here. There was a lot of fish out offshore. So it expanded the fishing areas now like 15 foot and in is going to be the deal well these lakes are like a big bowl so now we have decreased the fishing size of these places because all the fish are near the bank because they're trying to get their bump on so we're going to try to find something bumping we're going to seneca try to catch a smallmouth this this is way too long of a period for me to talk so brit Edit that out, and we'll see y'all at the boat ramp. Look who it is. I told him you just got done at Lake Gunnersville. Yeah. You got snails and grass and everywhere. 
Get him. I'm telling you, he, hey, clean, drain, dry. He don't hey, he abide by that. I got, I got quagga snails, quagga mussels, uh, hydrilla. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Hey, hey he had a couple ass. big uh, Asian carp in there, too. Asian carp in the live well. Don't let him lose like a, like a, like a specimen. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, I'm good, man. There's a bed right there. God, I think that's a bed. Looks like a bed. I'd like a bed. That's the baby. The other one's freaking big. The other one's a tank. You know it? I know it. The other one's a big one, boys. The other one's like a five. Call anything else? Call three. What you did? Found a good one on bed and then seen a few. That's crazy, bro. We ain't on we ain't on that yuga yet. No, we ain't on that yuga. That yuga got him. That yuga got him. Is it bad down there? So what's bad down there? Hey, so this is this is better right here than down there? It gets rough. Four footers. Big. I ain't doing that then. I'm probably gonna chill up through here and go across. I ain't about that life. Dang, they're on bed right here pretty good. There's another one on bed. Dang, that's a pretty good one right there. They're on bed all up through here. There's like 10 of them on bed. That water's so clear. Seneca and they're not really I don't know it's it's a weird deal I, I'll say this there's a lot of fish in this lake but like we're at a very unique time there are fish on beds just not a lot of them and what's that old saying they're coming they're coming supposedly they're supposed to be coming. That's what the book says. The book says they're coming. But I ain't seen nothing but a little baby boy. Oh, look at that one coming. That little boy's coming. He's coming. They're all coming. What a life to live. What a life to be here in a while. Oh, oh. There's another little baby boy. Quite a few smallmouth in here. Haven't seen any real big ones. Dang, he's weighing another one. We found a pot of them. We found, we found the juice. We're on the juice. It's over. It's over. 
Y'all stay tuned. You're gonna see the biggest bag of small mouth you've ever seen in your life. Here in just a few minutes. I was running out recording any of that. You what? No. That was such a good little segment. I lost it. Oh well. I'm not talking no more. Oh well. No, you was recording with you. I really wasn't. I really wasn't. I got a new camera. It's gonna take some getting used to. Brett got a new camera. He don't know how to work it. There's no clue how to work the camera. I don't know how to work these smallmouth up here. They're being weird. We're about to go back in that creek and go catch some water mouth. Okay. Look, I'm not playing. It'd be less rocky and windy. And actually, maybe it might be fun. Yeah. But this ain't. Yeah, every, every up here, big time, swimming. They some bass, there's some little bass right there. Yeah, I'm gonna look through here real quick see if I see some. There's a bit. He's on it too. Dang, that's a pretty dang good fish. Dang, you see him? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Thought we were gonna go in, but we're we're gonna stop for a minute. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm just not seeing a ton of them. Um, they some fish up, but uh, I think it's just kind of in between, scattered out. So, as always, you know how that goes. I had a little brim eating. As always, they're they're never there when you want them to be there, and I really, honestly, never want them to be there. I really don't care for him to be on bed. Now this guy right here, that guy, he loves it. He loves it. They coming. They coming. They, they coming. They coming. You heard the man. <laughs> I cannot believe how built that largemouth is. I can't believe that. That's like a four pounder and he ain't but like 12 inches long. Can't, that is the most built, is that even a bass? It looks like a carp. 425, a four and a quarter. He's four and a quarter. We're just evaluating this bass. And he's 17 inches long, 18 inches 18. long. He ain't even built like, he's just a, just an absolute tub, dude. Oh my gosh, what a time to be alive. How about that, bud? Boom! Forget them stinking small mouths. Look at that little baby head. OBE. So what are we doing this afternoon? We're going to Bass Pro. We're going to go to Bass Pro for a little meetup. Go hang out for a little bit at Bass Pro. And then we got a tournament meeting. And then I got oh. a rig and rod. All the guys should be here. All the guys are going to show up here in just a little bit. Adrian's going to be here. Jacob's already here. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Y'all join us. I'm pretty disappointed in Seneca. I'm not gonna lie, Seneca, you're kind of trashy. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way I, I'm gonna say it. So comment below if Seneca's not trashy. I just had a guy tell me he caught like, threw back four and a half pounders, so I'm like, but this guy lives here. He knows where the juice is at. We just rolled up. So. But the derby ain't here. We're, we're going to Cayuga. So we're gonna load this boat up. Y'all join us, comment below. Sure. All right, I was wrong. I was wrong. I admit it. 
Actually, I was on the, like, apparently the wrong end of the lake. Yep. I got my guy, I just met him right here. What'd y'all have today? We had 2492 mixed bag, large mouth and small mouth. Unbelievable. Yes, sir, Ned Rig. They had a catch and release tournament for yep. all my for catch. all my rule following people. We yes. all <laughs> rule following because somebody gonna comment and be like, the season ain't in yet. Right. We know that. Catch it's way catch release. Catch way release. This is M what this FL is what we do. style. Yes. Same scales, man. We had a ball. You had know? A ball. Unbelievable. And then my day just went crazy. My man DC, I just got to meet him, man. Listen, hammer right here, as y'all already hey, know. This man. is Tavares. Tell him where to find you at, man. Listen, that, man. That, hey. You know how people write, ride around with that little at? Yeah. You know, at, yeah. at Tavares yeah. or at? Right. Well, Tell you know, them to add you, big dog. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't really on a social media thing like that, but you can find me on Facebook, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Tavares yeah. Harris. You okay. know what I mean? Uh, straight out of Wayne County, man. But, yo, bass fishing all my life, man. Are you married? I am married. I'm about yep, to say, my wife, hey, Kristen K. Harris. Y'all about that. Yes, yes, sir. Find your little girlfriend. Yes, sir. Don't yes, do that. Sir, right. <laughs> right. Definitely married, yeah. man. You know what All I'm saying? All the women there hit me hey. up. Never mind. He's married. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, we both are. We both are. But nah, hey, man. No. All, all hey, jokes no. aside, man. Hey, day was a blast out here on Seneca Lake, bro. We was fishing two a foot of water, man. Catching four and a half, five pound bass, bro. Unbelievable. Y'all come out here. Y'all see us upstate New York, man. We got it. Hey, we I did it. not. I did we got not catch those, but my guy did. So, yes, sir. Uh, I don't know. I may come back to Seneca. I need to learn this place a little yep. bit. Who knows? But uh, All the major finger lakes, boom, 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 10, 12 miles apart. Nice meeting you, my guy. You too, DC. Thank We're you, We're headed man. to the Bass Pro Shop. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Here we are at the Bass Pro Shops. I have my guy, Mark Daniels Jr., with me. We got some work to do. We're going to go in here and say what's up to everybody. This is the Finger Lakes Great hey. American Outdoor Store. Hey, guys. Hey, now. We're gonna go in here. We might even grab some fishing baits, some lures. Let's go in here and, go in here and uh, say what's up, everybody. Go ahead on sizzle. Y'all comment below if you're coming. Let me know if you're gonna be here. <laughs> I saw that car, I was like, I, I gotta get those, those look nice. Hey buddy, you wanna be on TV? Uh, yeah? Yeah. He don't know. He don't know about it. <laughs> hey look, he don't know. Yeah, Why are you letting him He's gonna be on TV. Huh? So, hey, yeah, he's gonna see us up on TV now. Absolutely. We made him famous. <laughs> That was a fun time. We enjoyed it. Let's go get some dinner. Are we closing this vlog out? In a little bit. We're not going to close it out yet. You want to see inside the back? Yeah. Are we going to show what's inside the back? I, I wasn't. But... I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> see y'all. See you guys. See you, man. All right, so I'm not showing y'all what's inside the back. You're not going to get to see. Day one practice starts tomorrow. I'm excited about it. Hey, I'm more excited that I got my man, MDJ, right here. Yes, sir. I, I cannot help but notice what we, we got, got four big dummy watermelons. Oh, hey. No, we got uh -uh. five. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. One, one, two, three, four. This guy right here. Hey, look. That's like a 40 pounder, bro. Big dog. He's got girth. Yeah, he, yeah, he girthy. I mean, you can't even put him in a headlock. Where'd you get these at? For the watermelon man. Back at the house. Shout out to the watermelon man. Tuskegee, Alabama, where you gotta go to see him. Hey, shout out but to look, him. tag him. My man got the best <laughs> watermelons on earth. They right there. I don't know what he put in them. Triple 13? I don't, I don't know, know what, so what he put. God. I don't know where they come from. All I know is they good, bro. Just Adrian three. gonna eat about three of them. So I was like, you know, I gotta tote. I gotta make sure I got Question. at least. How you pick a good watermelon? Man, you know. Somebody comment. Below. Everybody got a theory on this, man. You know, they say tapping to see if he hollow. That's what I've always known. Yeah. Well, I like, so, like, I like to look at usually the stem right here to see, see if he's still fresh, right? See how old he is. Then, I start looking, I like scarring. When you start seeing scars on him, like this here, I like scarring on him. That Why do you like scarring? That because I feel like it's going to be sweet. Trunk. Nah, he got like, no, nah, not scars like that, but like from when he was growing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then I feel like he gonna be sweeter when he when he got them scars on him. I don't know why. He's That's been just, through stuff. Hey, he been, he, <laughs> hey, he, he know what it is. He done been through it. How would you say these are? These are fully ripe or they need a little, little day or two? Oh no, they, they ready to roll. 
Low key, low See, key. See, they don't have enough yellow on the belly for me. I need a little bit more yellow. You like yellow belly. Yeah, they like gotta, they gotta really be you yellow on the like belly. Yup, and then you see this little black right here. That's the sugar trying to squeeze out, bro. I'm telling you. Everything, bro. I'm telling you. Hey, so this video yeah, 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 yeah. now turned into watermelon hey, extravaganza. Extravaganza. Welcome back to Welcome back to the channel. Botany. Botany yeah. class. Botany. Yeah. All right, folks. Practice starts tomorrow morning. Um, we're at the infamous K. Is it Cayuga or Cayuga? I mean, I think the way it's spelled, I guess technically it is Cayuga. I thought it's Cayuga. I do too. It's Cayuga for me. Cayuga. Uh, yeah. A special place for me. I know I got. I had a special tournament last year. Got the win back, here. Back. This is completely different. So we're back. Um, practice starts tomorrow. You excited? We got work to do. Yeah, we we got got I'm excited. Hey, we've been up here messing around with some of these other lakes. Y'all probably gonna see some of that footage and some of the other travel vlogs, etc. So y'all make sure y'all watch that. But these Finger Lakes, got them, bro. This is one of them places where it's, it's such a special up. place. Even if you don't make the cut, you'll probably have a phenomenal, phenomenal, good, great time. Facts. Like, like, there's yeah. not gonna, nobody gonna leave here and say this place stinks. No. Because it I does not. I mean, you know, it, anything's possible. I ain't gonna say that. But these places got numbers, <gasps> they got size, <gasps> and they got both species. Both. And we here at a phenomenal time. I think it's gonna really break some records. I do. It I think. I ain't will. saying I'm going to or you or anybody, yeah. but it's gonna be phenomenal. So, y'all stay tuned. This is just a travel vlog. Um, we're gonna get some more fishing in. I got my brother coming up and my buddy Corey. Oh yeah, up. CP. Um, we all. We, hey, look, we're all in the same group. So, so we are. Why well, say that? Me, Mark, and Jacob are group A. Group A. Adrian's in group B. Lone rider. Yep. Um, on our off day, I think we need to have a little derby. Oh, we need to definitely do that. We need to have a little derby. Hundred percent. Three boat derby. derby. Yeah. Put a little money on it. Yeah. Um, and have a good time. My brother is gonna be here, so that's later on. We'll yeah. post that afterwards. But yeah. practice is coming at you next. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Mark, close it out. Hey man, y'all know the drill. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow your boy MDJ first and foremost. <laughs> no, <I'm just> yeah, for <laughs> real. Man. Hey, hey, hey y'all go. Before you even like my video, <laughs> go, go subscribe to his video. Hey, <laughs> hey look, we catch y'all on the next video. See you.